Hello, and welcome to Investigative Math. Today, we will be learning the remainder trick for dividing by 11. So let's get to it. The way you want to do this is you want to start from the right and work your way to the left while alternating between subtracting and adding. What do I mean by this? So we want to start with our 5. And then alternate between subtracting and adding. So we're going to subtract this the 6, and then add a 6, because that's the next from right to left, and then subtract a 1, because that's the next one. 5 minus 6 is negative 1, negative 1 plus 6 is 5, and 5 minus 1 is 4, so the remainder is 4. To clarify, you start from the right and work your way to the left while alternating between subtracting and adding. 5 minus 6 plus 6 minus 1. The next example is pretty the same. You start with the 7, then you subtract a 5, then you add a 0, and then you subtract an 8. 7 minus 5 is 2, plus 0 is 2, minus 8 is negative 6. If you get a negative remainder, at the end of your calculation, just add 11 for as many times as it takes to get it to be a number. In this case, negative 6 plus 11 is 5, so your remainder is 5. Now that you have an idea of how to do this kind of question, I provided a problem set in the description of this video for you to try a couple for yourself. And that does it for dividing by 11. If you need me to clarify anything for you, leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, leave a like, and if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you later.